There's one sport that's increased in popularity more than any other over the past few years. It's snooker. Now, if you don't know the idea of the game, let me briefly explain. Each red ball scores one point. Now, having potted a red into a pocket, that stays off the table, and then a player must try and pot any of the other coloured balls. The yellow scores two points, the green, three, the brown, four, the blue, five, the pink, six, and then top of the shot, the black, seven points. Now, each time one of those coloured balls is potted, it is returned to the table until all the red balls are gone. Then the coloured balls must be potted in the right order, ending with the black. There are 15 reds, so if you're a mathematician, you'll soon work out that the maximum break any player can make in a game is 147 points. 15 reds, followed by 15 blacks, and then all the colours. Now, this has never been performed in any match shown on television. The highest break was a score of 145, and that was performed in one of the semi-finals of this year's World Championship in April. And this is how the 36 balls were potted. The man who made that incredible break is my special guest this week. We welcome Doug Mountjoy. Well, welcome to the Record Breakers, Doug, and congratulations on that's the biggest break ever seen on television, isn't it? Yes, that's true, yeah. Yeah, yeah. How did you feel uh, when you realised that perhaps this break was on? Well, to realise that it's on, um possibly you think it's never on mm. because um, you don't plan a 145 or a 147 break it just happens obviously coming around the 70 and the 80 mark I could see that it was there yeah now on reflection what do you think about that one blue well I've been asked that uh, several times in actual fact I could have played for the black by taking a, a difficult red with the rest Mm. But I, I, I didn't feel as if I should take the chance, as the frame was more important to me mm -hmm. than the break. So when did you start playing snooker? Twelve. Yeah, Twelve. And did you play with, uh, like, small cues on smaller tables? Or? No. No, I didn't. I played in a full-size table from, from the off. From being 12? Yeah. So you eventually turned professional. When was that? Five years ago. Yeah. Was that a difficult decision for you? Very. I have a wife and family, and uh, 
I didn't really know whether I was going to make it. I, I don't think anyone knows. It's, it's a, a gamble. But uh, I'm glad I, I took that gamble, you know. So you are happy yeah. about all this? Oh, yeah. Now, a lot of tennis players have special rackets made for themselves. Do you have a special cue made for yourself? Well, I make it a special cue because there's no cue that would suit me. For a start, I have a small hand, mm. so I have to take the butt down on the cue ah. to fit. So, uh, do you mean it's made narrower? Yes, I make it narrower myself t to suit me. I see. That's too fat for me. Yes. A little end, you know. So, so you actually do it yourself? And how much would a cue like that cost me? About 20 pounds. Just before the recent uh, championships, uh, you were quite ill, weren't you? I had an attack of uh, Bellis palsy. It's a muscular complaint. Um, it's on the left side of my face. And um, it gave me a lot of problems. In actual fact, uh, I didn't do anything at all for three months. Mm. I was still in tournaments, but uh, I was out first round, this sort of thing. Yeah. But uh, by the time April came around for the World Championships, I was A-OK. -okay. So you, uh, yeah. you're right out of that one now? Yeah. You, oh, yeah, that's, I'm fine now. Yeah. Really now, what about all these trick shots that uh, you, you sometimes play at exhibitions? Well, we all play trick shots. Most of the uh, professionals, you know, uh, you play around the circuit exhibition and uh, you finish off with uh, trick shots. Are you going to show us a few? Yes, pleasure. Right. This time then, black, around the reds and into the pocket. This time then, a rapid fire shot, awfully pot in the six reds, individually into the basket. And then white into the black, sending the white up to knock the red off the top of the bottle. <laughs> well, right. Yeah, yeah, good one. Nice little shot this time. White over the line of reds and into the basket. Ah, this one, isn't it? And then the machine gun shot, sending the white towards the pocket before it reaches, bought the seven colors with the white going in last. Dedication, 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 that's what you need if your idea of heaven is 147. Oh, dedication's what you need. If you want to be a snooker playing record breaker